basically what it does is it enables me to press command P and pull up a new command that I can then run a particular script inside of Obsidian. Today's video, we're gonna focus on how we can get this quick add plugin working. Hi, my name is Callum, also known as Wanderlutz, and welcome to today's video on automating linking between quotes and notes using quick add, an Obsidian plugin that lets you run your own code. This system works with two key components, a reading note and a highlight note for quotes, automatically linking key quotes to their corresponding notes in a consolidated book note. Today, I'll show you how to import this automation yourself with no coding on your end so you can make your book note taking more frictionless. If you find this video helpful, please like, hype, and subscribe as I really appreciate your support. Now let's dive into book note taking automation. When I read books, I like to take notes and capture quotes, but doing both at the same time is tedious and can actually stop me from being motivated to read in the first place. It disrupts my flow while reading. A solution is to highlight quotes in my e-reader or mark physical books with book darts while taking notes through dictation or voice memos. I may have the quote, but why it matters is missing. They are decontextualized, which kind of defeats the point of taking notes on what you're reading in the first place. To solve my problem, I use Obsidian to automatically match page numbers from my book highlights to my notes and embed the quote directly above the note, so I never lose context of the quote and why it mattered to me. Now, I do want to quickly mention that this is a part of my bigger workflow that I talked about in the last video where we have this input ability, whether it's an e-reader, a physical book, or something like snipped through audiobooks, you want to reduce the friction of capturing the highlights. So you can just highlight directly, you can maintain the context, and then you also track your ideas and your insights in a reading note. We have this dual system between the reading note and the highlight note, where the reading note is more of a stream of consciousness, capturing of ideas, insights, and questions. You can dictate this, you can type this, you can do a voice memo. And then the highlight note is where you actually pull in the exact raw material, the source material, the quotes, the context that sparked the initial idea itself. So you can mark, you can capture the highlights, what resonated. You can note it in your separate note, why it resonated. And then we can use the quick add plugin to automatically organize and connect these two notes together. Before I show you how to get everything set up, I just want to quickly show you how this works. So basically you can see here on the right hand side, I have my reading notes on the book Nexus. And on the left, I have my highlights that were imported through my Kobo directly into Obsidian into all these blocks. I had to manually add in the page numbers just based on this particular book's EPUB. The file type itself didn't have the page numbers. So what I do is as I write, I give a few word description on the quote that I'm referencing so that I don't have to type out the entire quote myself as I'm taking notes and then add a few words beneath it to explain why that quote resonated. This gives me the ability to link the note that I just took here as I'm reading to the quote itself without having to write out the full quote, which depending on the quotes, they can be quite long. So it's nice to have this quick reference and what's also great is I can use the quick add plugin, let me show you how this works, to automatically grab the quote based on the page number and insert it to my reading note to combine, to consolidate the two notes. That way the ideas that, and insights that I have as I'm taking notes can maintain the context of the raw material of the quote itself. It's almost like a conversation back and forth between the author and me. So let's run the quick add plugin for a moment. Select the Nexus highlights. I'm going to choose, yes, I want to embed the quote. And yes, I want to put the quote above the note. Boom, that just took about one second. And what we can see now is that every single one of these block quotes was given a block ID. Page nine, the quote, power isn't wisdom, was given the block ID H005, power isn't wisdom note. The quote and the note are maintained together. And if there's two notes, for example, here, you can see I have page 10 and page 10. Both of those were inserted above the first page 10 reference, and then I have my page 10 notes below. The same thing with page 11. You can see that there were two quotes here, so they were both inserted above my notes on page 11. And one more thing I just wanna quickly show you before I get into the setup is that this also works for transcription. So what's cool is, for example, I just recorded a voice memo of myself, just free-flowing thinking, and then I noted the page at the beginning of each sentence. You can see here that we just have this block of text, this one big giant transcription that I just copied from my voice memo app. And if I run the highlighter connection on this too, the link highlight notes, it automatically went in and broke up that big block of text for the transcription and automatically applied the quotes to the transcript. What that means is that not only does this work for if you are writing notes here, but you can also do this for a transcription where, for example, you could just have a voice memo going as you're reading a book and not need to have a reading note open and you just free flow, jot down your thoughts just by speaking them into your voice memo. You just keep adding to it over time. And as long as you mention which page you're referring to 
and you have the page number connected to the highlight, you can just go through and break up that big transcription with all of your notes and have it become much more organized. And you can also do both. You can see I just applied that right here and I was able to apply the same highlights to my reading notes that I typed out by hand or more accurately dictated into Obsidian. And it also references the same highlights for the transcription from my voice memo that I did. Also creates the link to the notes so that you can always find this later. So altogether, the idea here is that we want to be able to take the quote, which is kind of like the data, our note, which is kind of like information, and then connecting the information to the data forms a type of knowledge. We keep the context of the quote in the note. And then in the future, we can connect this to the rest of our ecosystem inside of Obsidian. And that is where we start to get into wisdom and intelligence as it connects to the rest of the ecosystem. And we start to get more into the synthesis phase. But again, I talk about all of this process a lot more in the practical book note taking video. So I recommend checking that out if you want to see more how to get this all set up. Today's video, we're going to focus on how we can get this quick ad plugin working. So let's get started. So what we need to do is we need to go to community plugins, go to browse and search for quick ad, click install, enable, and then options. And here's where we have a couple options here. So you can create your own template. And I just vibe coded this. I used AI to help me code, which we can see here. I've got this big giant file and all of this was coded by AI. And this is exactly what quick ad is using to run that script. Basically what it does is it enables me to press command P and pull up a new command that I can then run a particular script inside of Obsidian. But what's nice is you don't have to do that yourself. I'm gonna give you the package for free. I've included a link in the description and the top level comment to my GitHub or to Google Drive, wherever I end up storing it. So if you wanna make this yourself, please feel free, go for it. You can add a new template. Make sure too that you are running on the latest version of QuickAd, at least version 2.6, because that gives you this import package option. So what we can do is I can just click import package and then we need to grab the JSON file itself. So what that means is if I go to where I exported this before, I can open this with my text editor, press command A, command C or control if you're on a, Mac, on a PC and then click paste here. And you can see it just went through right here. It converted that JSON file into the link book highlights macro. So we have the action we can write destination path. It's gonna automatically pull in the script that I coded for you. And if we click import package, we can close this and we can see now we have the option to link book highlights. If this lightning bolt is grayed out, make sure you turn it on. That gives us the command palette option. And if we click on the settings wheel, this would be where you could add your own scripts if you want to, this user script here. But by importing the JSON file that I gave you, it automatically just reads it and then adds that function here. So you don't need to do anything else in QuickAd. It's already entirely ready to go. Great. Also, if you want any more videos on how to use automation in Obsidian, perhaps vibe coding and connecting to Obsidian, let me know in the comments and I'm happy to make more videos on this. For example, if I press Command P, we can now see that I have this quick add link book highlight. If I click on it, you can see it only has the Kobo highlight template, which is my template file that I talked about in the last video. So in order for the quick ad to recognize that we're trying to link a highlight note to a reading note, remember the two different components of the system here, the reading note that we're taking notes in and the highlight note where we're capturing quotes is that we need to have the word highlight in the title. So I'm gonna just put highlights. And now if we press command P and click link book highlights, we can see that we have the Nexus highlights there. If it doesn't appear right away, you might need to quit and reopen Obsidian. And make sure also that when you're doing this, you're clicked on the reading note. For example, if I'm over on the highlight note itself, it's not gonna recognize the highlight because we're already in it. So make sure you're clicked on the reading note. Now I can choose those options again, embed quotes in line, yes. Insert quotes before page note, yes. And then when we click go, we can see it just added five new quotes. If we scroll down, we can see we have all of the connections based on the notes that we added right here. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you found that helpful. This shows you how you can get the link book highlights quick ad macro set up. And you can explore this more if you want. Please let me know in the comments if you have any problems with this or any questions. You can also code this yourself and make it more customized depending on your own reading flow. And let me know if you want me to make any more videos on this type of tool or the introduction of coding into Obsidian so you can have these custom automations for yourself because it really does save a lot of time. All I have to do is make sure that I have the page numbers in there and then it will automatically link those two notes together, which is really important for maintaining the context of your ideas and your note taking. That really does help move you up Bloom's taxonomy where not only are you remembering things because you're writing down the quotes, but you're also connecting your own ideas and understanding how those quotes fit together 
And by applying it, by extracting it into different systems, like perhaps writing a digital garden, a newsletter, a blog post, articles, or even just notes to yourself, you end up applying that understanding in a way that really allows you to enhance your knowledge. The more you analyze and draw connections amongst different ideas, the closer you can get to generating actually original creation. And that's kind of the whole point of this is that you want to go from actually taking notes and getting above that understanding phase to actually creating something new using something like atomic note taking. And if you want to learn more about the synthesis side of things, how I actually use the system to write things like newsletters, I recommend checking out my master learning by teaching video on the Feynman technique, as that's one of the best ways to grow your understanding. And if you want to learn more about atomic note taking or molecular note taking, as I call it, I recommend checking out these videos on Zettelkasten as that will help you understand how to get more into this atomic extraction and how you can synthesize, you can layer or thread these concepts together into original thinking. I hope you can see how using this type of workflow helps maintain the context between the quote and the note. It's a far more powerful way of forging knowledge rather than just collecting information. A quick reminder to please like and subscribe if you find this video helpful. Your support enables me to continue making these videos, so I appreciate it a lot. If you're looking for ways to support me further, please consider joining my membership, as that also gives you access to all of my templates. Also, if you want any more videos on how to use automation in Obsidian, perhaps vibe coding and connecting to Obsidian, let me know in the comments and I'm happy to make more videos on this. My goal is to help you as much as possible while motivating myself to continue reading, so I appreciate it a lot. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video.